Parasite together drop 14 kills, 13 or 14 kills, absolutely taking over this game single-handedly on this map. Sounds like you're taking Phase Red in this one. I'm taking Parasite in this All one. All right, well, let's kick stuff off with Parasite. They will be on the offensive side. If you are just tuning in, Phase Red trailing 0-1 as we go into game number two, s and on right. Early yeah, shots going down, not play. connecting though. <laughs> Aqua survives that initial attack, and now can he punish? The answer is no. Too many bullets from around the map. That one came in from a naval up top of the third story. You can see the rotation over to B as Phase Red is trying to adapt to the strategy by the defenders, and we're going to see. Will they be able to get another pick? One player in position to punish. It's Pacento, and Nagafen takes out Slasher. Yeah, I thought he was going to get caught basically as soon as he did that, just because Parasite was trailing a little bit behind with that bomb, playing it smart. They've got control of B. We'll see if they go try to get the bomb down or just try to slay out right now. But you will see the IMR. We don't see it a ton, but Nagathan busting it out. Not afraid to mix it up, man. He'll go away from that bow in ASM1 basically 50% of the time, and we're going to see how he wants to play this. I actually really like the decision to take the IMR outside. If there's anyone out here, he's going to have the advantage at range. And they still have to get the bomb down. It looks like now is the push they're going to make. It looks like in the mini-map, you can see Parasite is trying to get that bomb down. Nagathan's going to be taken out, then Remy then stuck in a one versus three. Uh -oh. But he kills him before the bomb goes down. There's only 10 seconds. Someone has to go for Remy. the player. they got to get the kill, oh. and they'll get the kill. If he would have got out of there and just been able to dip back in as they went for that second plant, Incredible Valiant effort there from Remy. I couldn't get to him in time as he jumped to the top of the scoreboard, but Remy was kind of playing ring around the rosy with Enable, uh, just trying to get around and stay alive. But nice job by Enable, picks up two that round, and that is going to give FaZe Red the first point in this game. Remember, actually, you have three, so a huge oh round out of Enable. Yeah, let's see him on. Let's see him on defense. You ready for this? Bring out the snipe. All right, let's see how he's going to play this. You know, you usually have that sniper that'll go this left side, second story, to watch over A. He's going to be that player. He's sticking with frags. He has the bow and frags, yep. Oh, there's the sniper. He saw the, shot, the shot coming in there, but Remy's going to push him. That's how you deal with the sniper. Push him out of their spots. Parasite will be the first to drop 4-3 advantage right now for TR. And, of course, you can see after that kill, it's TR who is given total control of the A site. The bomb planted by Nagafen. We're going to see, will TR be able to stay alive? Good cover on Naga Fence so far from his teammates. Aqua trying to push back Slasher. Aqua. And look at the angle Slasher gave himself. Jumping out in the open, though, he is vulnerable. Gets picked out of the exactly. sky. Uh, Aqua played that so well to Slade there prone. The only way to kill him basically was to jump in the line of sight of another one of his teammates. So they get the trade. It is going to be a two versus two. Enable and Aix. It's going to be Remy left off. He's going for the defuse. Uh, they need to get to him in time. Oh, Remy's so good. Now he's just got to play the time here. Ten seconds left. Stay alive for three more. Look at it. Uh, yeah, he's going to do it. Perfect. <laughs> Remy played that flawlessly. You almost saw him have a clutch play in round number one. He had some more in store. Busted out for round number two. Great stuff from Remy. We saw Enable open up with a three-kill round. Here's Remy as he is on a bit of a spree now. Can he keep it rolling as they will be on the defensive end? Where, where do you think Phase Red is going with this? Keep pushing that A site? Yeah, well, I mean, last time we saw them push pretty pretty aggressively outside towards B. And it ended up being really a slow play kind of in that back parking lot. Looks like we're going to see, what, kind of a split here. A sniper from Ake's going to be watching any kind of aggression on this A side. He's oh going to get tagged goodness. up immediately. The rest of the, I don't know, they've really made up their minds yet. Look how slow they're playing. Yeah, and stacked very rarely do you see them tonight. stacked up inside. You're going to see Parasite with the bomb get a bit aggressive. But where is his support? Are they in position to trade. It looks like Aix getting some eyes on a player, calling it out, and he knows that there's definitely going to be multiple opponents on the other side of this wall. Yeah, he had one high and one low. And a player Aquas I thought rotating. was going to peek him for a second. Yeah, it's Vicento and Aix just in this bit of, a bit of a sniper battle here. Aix has checked this top part so many times, but did have an angle, and that's going to be the challenge. Aix does get taken out. He, how, he was staring at that corner for so long. Unfortunately, Vicento there the whole time. Heads up play. Bomb should be going down, and it looks like Parasite was trying to draw a player out. Meanwhile, only one player over on the B side of the map. It was Enable who got the melee on Nagafen and then got out alive. So, we're going to see the action as Bomb is down. Will they be able to pick it up? That is going to be up to phase red. Aqua doing a great job getting up close and personal, and there's oh, a... Oh, dear lord. Just turn the chin, Aqua. cam for this one. 
What did he just do? Embarrassed the guy up top, ran in front of someone, and then gave Slasher the business up close and personal <laughs> with the Moors. That was absolutely filthy out of Aqua. I thought I was like, he's going to go for the no scope here. Yep, little quick scope action. action. Slasher had no chance, just gets dominated. It didn't look like DL Trigger was involved at all, Maven. Oh, that was incredible. I, this kid. This kid has such a bright future, especially if future Call of Duty games are as fast as this one. He is just going to be able to excel. It's not only his shot, it's his movement as he's featured throughout this game. And we're going to see a big battle going down over at A at any moment. Also, look out for the flank as Phase Red is trying to get sneaky. You talked about the duo of Remy and Aqua. You saw the clutch plays from Remy. Aqua with the incredible snipe there. It is going to be an early two versus three, though. Let's see if Aqua has any other tricks up his sleeve as he is up against Enable, Parasite, and Slasher. And FaZe wisely is backing down. They know Bomb is down. They're just keeping eyes on a site, And you can see Revenge. They know about this flank, and they want to get rid of that threat so that they can put their focus back on the Bomb. But until Facento gets kind of an intro kill, they are stuck at the moment. 40 seconds, though, to work with. Yeah, the issue here is just being the Bomb down. Facento able to pick it up. They're going to try and rotate through mid-map. There's going to be one player there. Aqua's going to get this. All of a sudden is a 2v2. Big kill after big kill for Aqua. Eyes on with Enable. You can see the mini-map. Both players basically directly below him. And there is a teammate running by. That's Parasite into the action. And Parasite is actually going to get one. Looking now for the last man standing. It's going to be Facento. And as he plants, Enable played that perfectly. Going to be eyeing that site and picks up the easy kill here in your round. Any kill cam 2-2. Two, two. We're all tied up here on the alpha stage. And enable just big kill after big kill as well. I feel like him, it's like him versus Remy and Aqua right now when it comes down to who's getting these final kills. As he is 6-2 right now. You talked about Parasite getting 14 kills. I'm eyes on right now with enable. Enable? I'm good with that. I they're love gonna, me some they're going to be on the offensive side of things. They haven't really pushed A fast yet. They've, we saw what sort of quick push towards B. Then now uh, here it comes. This is the fast push I was kind of expecting. A little bit of, little bit of bumping into each other. Slasher is going to get there first, just watching the teams back. And there is a missed snipe from Aqua trying to punish his Slasher. Slasher getting the position and finishing the kill on the injured Aqua. So good opening. However, it's Vicento cleaning up a navel to tie things up. And the big thing there is they halted the bomb from getting planted. And when you push A like that, you're hoping to get a quick plant. It gets stopped completely. We're under 60 to go in this one, all tied up 2-2. Phase Red has to pull out this game. They cannot have an 0-2 deficit in this series. Oh, absolutely not. They did it earlier in group play, dropping 2-0 to AR before rallying back to take the series in a game five. But not in the bracket, man. Group play, you might be able to mess around with that. Not in the bracket. Aix is going to pick up one, but now he's the last man standing against Remy and Nagafen. The 1v2. Bomb planted. How is he going to handle this already? You see Remy on it. And Aix is going to pick it. 1v1. Just in time. This is why you put Aix on your squad. Just so much veteran leadership from him. He's been in this position so many times. 1v1. 20 seconds left. Nagafen, Up against Nagafen. It looks normal. like he's hopped it. Normally, Nagafen's an extremely talented S&D player. This time, though, he just seems a little bit uncomfortable. Now, one in five after Aix clutches the 1v2. Here he is one more time, stopping the bomb twice. Neither player decided to push him. They both went through for the defuse, and honestly, they made it as easy as possible on Aix. He counted his head, had that internal clock, checks it, gets both kills. Good clutch from Captain Aix. Looking through, a lot of fives. In this game, Slasher pretty quiet at two and five. He needs to get something going, in my opinion. You need you need Slasher to get hyped up because it's his first World Champs, and I think really he is going to be probably the best player on this team once he gets going. Yeah, and he's on a small list of players that has the skill, the ability to just completely take over a game by himself. I expect to see him get it going. Two and five is not acceptable to him. Vicento, though, going to get that first pick. I think he saw the second player. is going to push there. He destroys Slasher. So much for Slasher getting anything going. He ran into the wall that is Vicento. Dude, it is crazy. Revenge is on the attack, but it's FaZe who is pushing them so aggressively on defense. 
Well, this is one of those maps, one of the few maps really in Call of Duty history, as far as S and D, where we actually see the offensive time have a, or the offensive team have a higher percentage of wins. So you got to mix it up a little bit on the defensive side. Just sitting back and having that kind of stale line across the back does not work. Absolutely, that big prison in the middle breaking up the A and the B bomb sites. Of course, there's a route through, but it's a very narrow hallway. Parasite has his work cut out for him. A one v three, and you're going to see Phase Red that they lead by one round, but. Uh, he had for to, revenge to tie things up unless he goes huge running out of time 30 seconds left he's got to pick up both kills they're definitely going to be checking this site every six seconds uh, he's going to get pinched here if they decide to push and there it is tied up three to three you know a lot of times you want to see the players kind of stay close to each other so you guarantee a trade there but i like that they spread out a bit they pinched him they're feeling confident as originally it was a one versus three and they're able to lock it up final kill there by nagafin Round number seven coming your way right now. So far, nothing too exciting, just pretty basic plays being made on both sides. I'm impressed by this revenge squad though for sure, and I'm looking for something big out of phase red. Who's gonna be the star players at the start? It's been enabled, but Parasite, will he be able to take over this game? He's got the bomb and he's getting aggressive. Big oh, kill there. Good thing he got the headshot because that was not a gunfight you'll typically see him win. But it is going to be a 2v3 early on as Enable and Parasite are going to fall. Slasher, though, is going to win a big gunfight here. Two versus two. Chris, 60 to play. Slasher just crushed Nagafen there. Yeah. Nagafen got the first shot. You heard the bullets and, coming and you in. saw Austin's reaction. No, time, no, no. <laughs> whipping it over and laying him down. So now two on two, all tied up. The bomb is down right now, and uh, highlight that player by the bomb. Yeah, Who's watching over in Aqua? Damage. Aqua got one, though. Can he get the other? And Aqua baited that out perfectly. Unfortunately, he didn't see the second player. So now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Facento leading the team at eight and five. I said he normally, Did you he know. Did see him? I don't think he saw him. He got through just in the nick of time. So Facento, he's got to assume the play is going to be going towards B, but we'll see if Aix decides to wrap back around towards A. Aix, yeah, we talked about it again. The veteran leader, you put him on the team for this exact scenario, a 1v1. Not a lot of time to play. He's going to go for the plant. He should have plenty of time to go for it here, unless we see the push from Vicento. He's coming to check it. This uh -oh. is going to be so close. Plant is down. Can Aix escape? He gets caught on a wall, and Vicento is right behind him. Vicento trying to be a ninja, and that is a third time where when the bomb is planted, Revenge just wants to go for the defuse. You can't do that. Aix is wearing headphones, Vicento. Somebody challenge Captain Price already. Please. <laughs> These are uncontested fights when Aix is clutching up. But seriously, I mean, not that they've been the most difficult battles, but that, that was, though. But he had to get bombed down in a 1v1. Wasn't sure at all to Vicento's position. Played it beautifully. Got the bomb down. Got to a safe corner. Made it look very easy. I know I've said it twice already, but that's the reason Aix is on the squad. You won't say it again. Oh, I will. I'll say it the whole game. I like that. <laughs> uh, all right. Once again, it's going to be a pretty aggressive push right away over at A. We've seen it so many times in this game, and Remy won't be able to pick up that first blood. He's going to be forced back by Enable. Great escape by Enable, I should point out, because he definitely took some fire. Parasite now rotating over, and they know Nagafen is looking to get that bomb down. On the other side, though, here's your first engagement. Aix is going to lose that one. Enable now a little bit tricky situation, pinched between two revenge players. Yeah, he's got to play this smart. Slasher, again, we talked about the fact that he needs to get going at 3 and 7. He said, all right, that should be an easy one. All right, going to make it a 3 versus 3. They do have the one-round advantage. Let's see if they can push this to a fifth round. In oh, he didn't see that guy. It's like he checked it, but didn't. it was like a lazy check. Didn't see that player from mid-map. I like that lazy check. Aqua takes out a Nabel. All up to Parasite here. And the bomb not planted. They don't even need to. They're just hunting for the kill. It looks like they will rotate over to B now as a squad. Poor All parasite. three members stacked up. And this is his third 1v3, I think. It's not fun. And he's already tagged up. They know his position. All right, he's going to bust out the sniper, get his eagle on. Yeah, just moors it up, bro. Apparently, he's waiting to no-scope someone. But now he is going to push forward. They know right where he's coming from. Uh, it's a good thing he has a sniper because he's putting himself in difficult spots to try and win a gunfight with that ASM-1, the way they were positioned. He is going to fall. This has been so back and forth. We're having a round 11, Chris. I just know it's coming. It's coming, man. 10 and 6 is Aqua. Another three-kill round as he took over with the battle, taking out a Nabel, one of the key ones in that matchup. So now we're going to see round 9. Phase Red back on the attack. 
Ah, if I'm phase red, you just whatever you need to do to make sure that Aix and Enable are alive at the end of the round. Just because I feel like every round they've won, it's been one of those two players picking up the final kill, picking up the final two kills. They cannot be first blooded, which we see Aix first blooded back to back rounds. Well, you said final kill or final two kills. That's been a big problem. Revenge multiple times having three up when it comes to the final moments, and we're going to see four currently as Nagafen drops oh, Enable. Just said Aix and Enable can't left. drop, and uh, those are the two that are going to fall for Phase Red. I don't think they're winning this round, Maeve. No, they, again, they've just been the ones that have been able to close it out here for Phase Red. Slasher should have a kill. All he could really see was the dome of that player not able to pick it up. That was such a tough engagement for him. He's going to fall. Parasite in yet another 1v3. It was a 1v4. But I think this is his fourth 1v3. Yeah, he's just going to ace this. Don't worry about it. All right, here it comes. If he could pull this, it'd be amazing. There's, There's one. There's two. He's got to get back. They know where he is. He's going to get pinched here. Did he see the player? Uh oh he didn't. Facenta he dives definitely away. saw him. He was injured, though. Did not want to engage there. Had to dip for a moment. He's got bomb. B is open. A also lightly contested. Facenta, though, is going to rotate around. And, and Parasite's going to have his hands full. Will he be able to pick up this kill? Great angle. That sniper, look at you can see Vicento just jumping there, right? The sniper, oh, there it is. Finds just the corner. Trying to get an angle on Parasite. Unfortunately, no, didn't have a chance for the one before. Look at, look at this oh. shot, though, man. That's awesome. Just clips the corner. Great heads up from Facento. Wish we had that uh, COD vision turned off for you guys. You can see just how little Parasite was visible. Yeah, about a three by three inch shoulder is what you saw there for Facento. It's a nice square shoulder. We're going into this one with Remy right here, and he's gonna be charging over to this A site with the sniper out. Happy to challenge anyone who wants to peek the corner, and it looks like it's gonna be Parasite patiently waiting with the ASM-1. Meanwhile, over at B, Phase Red stacking up. Slasher gets the call out that he may wanna rotate, and it's gonna be patient play from both teams. Facento waiting for a push top Threes, you're going to see Nagafen with the bomb, waiting for a first blood from his teammates. Remy's watching inside, make sure no one is flanked. Aix sitting back, no action quite yet. Yeah, I mean, what I said stands. Aix and Parasite, or Aix and Enable just have to stay up. They've been getting first blood or knocked out so early in these rounds. You see them playing it a little bit slower. Again, a lot of times offense is advantageous in this one, especially if you can get an easy plant here today, which is what it looks like they're going to be pushing for right now. Nagafen should be trying to get this bomb down. Any, oh, well, no, ro no, rotating no, back, no, playing no. smart. And B, it's going down. They're running out of time, 30 seconds left. Pressure's on revenge. This is phase red's round to lose right now, in my oh, opinion. Oh, that's a big win there from Ace. And enables there as well, tagged up a little bit, but surviving. Bomb has been spotted as Nagafen is gonna rotate over to B. Does he check all the corners? Because they are going to hear that plant, and just like that, you see Enable charging up. Gets one, punishes a second with the help of Aix. Round 11. 5-5, five, five, round 11, maybe. That's what we do here on Alpha. Oh, God. I, I, who are you taking in this one? Uh, uh, revenge. I'm, I'm taking Phase Red. Aix is going to get three kills. Nice. Uh, Aqua, two kills. All right. Our predictions are getting very elaborate. Yes. <laughs> because they can be. Well, uh, now, what's unfortunate, though, the kills were very lopsided in the favor of TR, but this is a map, again, where you would prefer to have offense, at least in my mind, so offense is actually gonna go to phase red. Looking through, 5-5. Five, five. Aix top the leaderboard for phase red. Gonna be chucking out those grenades. And you see the two-man stack over at A. Slasher earlier caused big problems for them through this hallway. Look for the flank, though. It's all set up. Aqua, the man. Here comes a charge. Slasher punishes Facento, trading one for one. So three up for both teams. Oh, God. It's, this is so nerve-wracking. 60 seconds left. Round 11. Three versus three. The flank is what I'm worried about. And who do you have highlighted? I got everyone highlighted. Nagafen, this one is Nagafen. Yep. He's being the most aggressive. Look for Aqua to punch out. And there he is. But it's one. Aix actually taking out Remy. And it's Aqua rotating all the way around. He hasn't played this position yet. Normally he likes to challenge from inside. And there's a big fight. Nagafen with the IMR is going to take out Aix. Bomb is rotating, though. Slasher picked it up off Parasite's dead body. 
faking the B push, running right back, but no, they are not going to be caught off guard. Nagafen tagging up Slasher, calling it out. Aqua waiting for the pinch. They just have to wait this out for 24 seconds. Oh, the timing there just going to work out terribly for Slasher. His Aqua's going to catch him as soon as his back turns. Only 15 seconds to go. They have to try and get bombed out. It's a Nabel stuck at 1v2. He's going to push this player. The timing works out so well yet again for Aqua. All he sees is the back of two phase red players as he closes it out. Just want to just want to point out my homie Aqua dropping two kills in round 11 as Revenge is going to take this. Well, you know what? My X prediction looked good until he got destroyed by the IMR of Nagafen. <laughs>